subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to compress files so they take up less storage space on your hard drive, but at the same time, you are then able to send those files which are compressed via email to a recipient. So what I've got opened up here is my Gmail account. I wanna send multiple files to a recipient. However, the maximum um, attachment in terms of size, which Gmail allows is 25 megabytes. And let me just show you um, this in action actually. Before I do show you this in action, what I would like you to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video and click on that bell notification. And please, if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. So what I'm gonna do now is show you um, me attaching some files from my computer so I want to attach and send these five files if you noticed two of these files um, if you add them up will be above the 25 megabyte limit which Gmail allows so if I highlight all of them I want to send all of them click on that um, it will come up with a pop-up message saying your files are larger than 25 megabytes they will be sent as Google Drive links I don't want them to be sent as Google Drive links so I'm going to click on cancel so those three will be sent but I don't want to do that I want to send five of them so I want to cancel this cancel this cancel this I want to find where those files are kept here are these files these are separate files at the moment a uh, moment um, one good thing about compressing files, it reduces the file size, so it takes, takes up less space on your hard drive, and those files, you can store them then on USB flash drives or on a CD or a DVD, um, um, ROM or whatever, you, whatever your um, device is you want to store those files on as. So I wanna zip these files or compress these files so they take up less space on my hard drive. So I'm gonna highlight them all like this. Um, by the way the operating system I'm using here is Windows 10 right click those files and let me just check the properties of all those files combined so currently all those files um, added together the size of those files are 42.2 megabytes which is obviously over the 25 megabyte limit with Gmail or any email most email providers allow so I'm going to cancel that uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on send to and I'm going to click on compressed zipped folder. When I do that, it will compress all the folder, uh, all those files into one folder. And here is that folder. It's a .zip folder. So this is my um, compressed folder. Now this folder will include these five documents here. So if I double click on it, it includes all those five documents and then you are able to extract those files into a separate folder somewhere else let me cancel that here we go so that's my new folder if you notice the size 24.119 kilobytes right click double check the properties approximately 23.5 megabytes so it's less than the 25 megabytes limit which Gmail allows so I'm now able have you noticed it, it's reduced the size what around 50% so if I go back onto my Google Chrome browser here click on attached um, attach files here choose my file compress folder it's 23.5 megabytes Gmail should allow this to go through click on open and what it's doing now it's attaching this folder or this file now to my Gmail account there you go it's been attached now I'm able to send that file um, to whoever I want to send it to if I want to cancel that click on there so it's cancelled but again if click on attach file click on the folder I want to attach click on open and Gmail will attach that file um, as a as a as an actual entity as an actual file to be able to be sent so the two things really I've shown you how to compress multiple files into a zip folder here one thing I haven't shown you let's say I've received this zip folder from somebody on an email I can double click on it what you need to do to get access to these files within that compressed folder is click on extract all so if I click on extract I can extract it so choose that folder compressed folder click on extract um, and it will extract them all into a new folder 
let me click on cancel yeah so I click on RA solutions it's created a new compressed folder there double click on that and these are my files now that were compressed originally um, so yeah compression is really important it's really effective actually if you know how to compress files which you don't use often my suggestion would be to compress those files so you're taking up less room on your hard drive if there's a way um, you can put all your files which you don't use compress them and put those on an external hard drive or a USB flash drive some type of medium like that uh, or zip them up onto a CD-ROM or a DVD-ROM and keep that safe you can do that and that's another way to keep your files safe if, especially if you don't use files um, those files on a regular basis or if, if you just use them on a one-off basis uh, but that that way you're rest assured those files are kept safe on a different medium elsewhere just in case you get a virus on your computer or something happens where you know your files get corrupted you can access them as a backup as well at the same time so that's a quick and easy way um, to compress your files to send your files via email if they are approaching the 25 megabyte limit I hope this video has helped you understand the background behind compression and how to compress files and how to extract files uh, please like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace out.